Top 10 Easiest Fingerboard Tricks, in my opinion. But first, I'd like to show you my favorite scene from my new favorite movie, Black River Down. So you want to learn some tricks, huh? Yes, yes sir. sir! Well, you better be ready to put in some time, because this don't come easy. Yes, yes sir. sir! Hey, you! You listening to me? Well, yeah, uh, What did I just say then? What? Uh... What did I just say then, brother? Um... Uh... See? I knew it! How are you going to inspect a fingerboard with those scrawny ass fingers? What? What are you talking about? Boy, you better get your palms to the weights and don't uh -huh. come back until you're ready to fingerboard, uh -huh. brother! Okay. Day three. That's right, day three, we have made it this far. Fingerboard week, baby. On today's video, we're gonna be tackling another comment that I get a lot of my fingerboard videos, and it's a bunch of people wanting to know how to do fingerboard tricks, which I don't really do many tutorials. I mean, I am the greatest coach in the world, but I don't do many tutorials on my snowboard stuff because I have some friends that are actually pretty good at doing tutorials, so I don't do them. But I'm gonna try to teach you guys some tricks. I'm gonna try to teach you the 10 easiest fingerboard tricks that I think most people learn. If you don't remember from yesterday's video, I got this in the mail. And if you didn't watch yesterday's video, this fingerboard's $200. <laughs> Top 10 easiest fingerboard tricks in my opinion. First things first! You want to make sure that your fingers are in the right position. Because if they're not in the right position, you don't want to be on your fingerboard all like this. Ready? Because that's just not going to fly around here. You want to be on it with the tips of your finger like this. Yeah, baby, that's what's up. Now let me show you an example of why you want to be like that. If you try and do an ollie with your fingers over the whole board like this, like some freaking noob, it's gonna end up like this. And that just doesn't look cool. And we're talking about fingerboarding, so you want to make sure it looks extremely cool. But if you have your fingers on it like this, it makes it a whole lot easier, you see? You get it? You're picking up what I'm putting down? This bad this good. Cool. Alright, now we have that out of the way, we can actually get into the tricks. The first fingerboard trick that you're probably gonna learn by accident is a tray flip. Because when you first get a tech deck, you do this. And chances are every now and then a little tray flip might sneak his way in. Now unless you know what you're looking at, a tray flip can easily be mistaken for a random flip for that reason, yeah, because, yeah, you can do it by randomly flicking the board. But if we're talking about doing a tray flip intentionally, well, that's a whole nother story. You're gonna try to scoop your back foot. Ugh, my, you, your back foot. You're gonna try to scoop your back finger like that, while also making this finger go like, and it should end up like that. But if you're actually trying to do it, then it's definitely not the easiest trick on this list. But it is also probably the first trick that you'll do, so it, it kinda is. The tray flip is also commonly known as the 360 flip, and it is so easy that my friend Levi can do it. I'm here to see if you can tray flip. I can tray flip. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> oh. Tray flip. Alright. Oh, first try! <laughs> 
<laughs> Trick number two. A lot of the tricks on this list are actually fairly easy to do to start, but then once you actually start to want to do those tricks, then they become a little bit harder. This next trick is a pop shove it. It's like the tray flip, instead of flicking it crazily, you're only gonna put a little bit of flick on your back finger and just make it go around halfway. And when you see that it's spun enough, you just use your front finger to just push it down. Something that helps a lot with the pop shove it is trying to spin it around your front finger because it makes it a lot easier to catch. I'm teaching you how to do a basic pop shove it. If you want to do them higher, I can't help you there because I can't do them any higher than that. Trick number three is a fakey kick flip. I think fakie kickflips are probably the easiest out of the straight kickflip variations because when you're first starting out fingerboarding, most people go forward then they like kind of shuffle back quickly like that. But with a fakie flip, you don't need to do that shuffle because you're already going this way. To do a fakie kickflip, you're going to be going in the opposite way to the normal way you ride. Let's say if I normally go this way, we're gonna be going this way. Really? You're gonna go back, you're gonna try to pop the tail down like this so the board goes up like that. You're kinda just gonna flick your hand over the front of the nose to make the board flip. Pretty much exactly how you do it on a real skateboard. And once you got that part down, you can pretty much just do it and just keep going to your land one. Guess what the next trick is? I bet you won't be able to guess. Trick number five is a kick flip. <laughs> We just learned fake kick flips, so once you got those down, the kick flip is very easy to do because it's the same thing, just going the other way. You're gonna be on this way, you're gonna pop the board like that, and when the board's up, you're gonna use your hand and skid your front finger over like the side of the nose, going this way to make the board flip. Then once you see the grip tape come around, just land it. This one's probably the first trick that's gonna feel a little bit awkward to start off with because you're using your hand to do this and it, it's just kind of a weird movement. You'll probably learn a kickflip on a fingerboard before you learn an ollie on one, but it might not be the same for everyone. I'm getting this statistic from my friend Levi, who can kickflip, but he struggles to ollie. Let's see a kickflip. Oh. Oi! <laughs> there it is! Wait, an ollie? Oh! The kickflip is a very important trick to learn because it's the one you're going to use to flex on everyone when there's a tech deck in the room. Trick number Five. Backside flip. Backside flips are easy. Some might even say they're easier than a normal kick flip. And by some, I mean me. Because sometimes when you go for a kick flip, the board kind of naturally does that. And when you see that, you can just be like, oh. Your back thing is gonna scoop a tiny bit, like a tiny bit, to make the board spin like that. And while you're doing that, you're gonna move your hand around like this. You can even land this one 90 degrees and just skid it around a little bit and no one will care. You might be noticing a pattern here, that each trick kind of relates to each other. So once you learn one trick, you can do the next trick pretty easily. And that is the same for our trick number six, which is a varial kickflip. You're bored doing a pop shove it and a kick flip at the same time. And it is essentially the exact same thing as the backside flip. But instead of moving your hand like this, you just keep it straight. Actually, this trick might be a little easier than the backside flip. On actual skateboarding, the varial flip's not considered that cool of a trick, and it's kind of a nasty trick to pull on someone in a game of skate, because no one really wants to learn them. They just don't look that cool. But in fingerboarding, I think, I think they're cool. I like varial flips. This is the trick that will probably take you the most amount of time, and that is the ollie. <laughs> Once you have a good ollie, it's gonna make every other trick kind of make sense. As in real skateboarding, it's the same in fingerboarding, pretty much the way you do it. Once you learn the ollie, it's like opening up a gateway to a whole new world of tricks. So the hard part about fingerboarding is keeping the board straight, which is why ollie is so far down the list on the easiest fingerboard tricks, because you gotta keep the board straight the whole time. Pop down on the tail, and you're gonna move your whole hand up to the nose. Unlike the kickflip, you're not gonna flick it off. Move it up to there until you bring it up to level out and then land. The easiest way to learn an ollie is probably gonna be doing it like this. You're gonna roll backwards, you're gonna pop up, and then you're gonna kinda bring your whole hand forward like that. So it's gonna be backwards. It's almost like you're tipping the board into your hand and bringing it around. Now you just need to do it going straight. 
It all just really takes time and practice. Now you know how to ollie and you've unlocked a bunch of new tricks. One of those tricks being manuals. <laughs> Super easy once you got the ollie. I could probably stay in a manual forever. That's right, world's longest fingerboard manual. Gonna break some world records. Oh snap, I'm going backwards. Once you ollie and you land, you're not gonna even out the board. You're gonna ollie and just land on your back trucks and roll off the ledge. It's also pretty easy to go into a nose manual. Instead of not evening out, you're gonna even out and land on your nose. Remember when I said all the tricks kind of relate to each other? If you can manage to ollie your way up onto a ledge, you can manage to ollie into a 50-50. And if you got the manuals, you can ollie into a 5-0 or a nose grind. The only thing that's really tricky about this is just being accurate, but it's not actually that tricky, so, um, yeah. And for my final trick, the world's most easy fingerboard trick. And that's the end of the video. I hope you guys learned something. And if you didn't, I hope, uh, I hope you liked the video anyway. Yeah. That's it for day three of Fingerboard Week. Hope you guys are enjoying Fingerboard Week so far. It seems like a lot of you are. And if you want to support the channel, make sure to go check out my merch. Link in the description. Fingerboard Week merch. Exclusive. Epic. All right. See you tomorrow. Oh, make sure to subscribe. <laughs>